real steak versus plant-based steak. In this video, I'm oh. gonna cook both of these and try them both. I've got a feeling I know which one I'm gonna like better. <laughs> and I can't guarantee that I'm gonna eat all of this plant-based steak, but I'll at least give it a try. Before we get into that, let's talk about these different things though. This is a bison steak. This is a grass-fed, grass-finished steak from a bison, regeneratively raised. This is a plant-based, quote, steak made from mushrooms. I'm not sure how it's a steak, but that's what they call it. What else is in here? Well, some fruit juice to color it and make it look red like this steak and some spices because I imagine without the spices, this basically takes pretty bland, probably kind of like cardboard. That's what they say, mushrooms, mushroom steak. Right from the outset, my question is, why in the world would you ever eat this and not this? I think just looking at this steak, something primal in our bodies, something that has been known for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years is triggered, which is that meat and organs, animal foods are good for humans. There are studies in vegetarians versus omnivores, which show that when you show vegetarians pictures of steak, at the cortical levels of their brain, they have an aversion. But even in vegetarians, at the deepest levels of their brain, they have a positive reaction to this steak. So I guess that a lot of people today are vegan and vegetarian because they don't want to kill animals. But listen, I think that our highest purpose on this earth as humans is to do well in the world, to do good in the world. And I think there's a very strong argument to be made that your health allows you to do the best you can in this world. Meaning that more strength, more resilience, more libido, more energy, more mental clarity allow you to be the best husband, the best wife, the best father, the best daughter, the best person in the world to contribute most with your gifts. And the nutrients found in meat and organs in real animal foods are not found in plant foods. There are so many nutrients found in this steak that are not found in this mushroom mycelium with fruit juice and spices. Things like vitamin K2, important for cardiovascular health, carnitine, carnosine, anserine, taurine, vitamin B12. The list goes on and on. Significant amounts of riboflavin. They're not found in this. And there's so much nutrition in this steak. Nutrition that's important for wound healing. Nutrition that's important for the formation of strong bones, strong ligaments, strong muscles, muscle recovery. Nutrition that's important for the formation of hormones. Nutrition that's important for the formation of neurotransmitters in your body. Here, not here. So what about the environmental angle? Well, what's amazing about this, it's a regenerative steak, meaning that the animals raised on this land are grazed rotationally. They're grass fed, they're grass finished. And when you do life cycle analyses of the carbon footprint of regeneratively raised cattle or bison, this is actually carbon neutral or carbon negative, meaning that the amount of carbon used to produce this steak in many cases is negative. More carbon is sequestered into the ground than is actually going up into the atmosphere from the production of this steak. How is that possible, you ask? Well, because animals raised on grass for their whole lives poop and pee on that grass, they tramp it into the grass with their hooves, and that means that these animals help create and cultivate a microbiome in the soil. And that is how carbon from the atmosphere gets fixed into the soil. And that's how carbon becomes negative in the formation of this steak. This, there is a carbon footprint to making a mushroom mycelium steak. Absolutely. Carbon positive, carbon negative. So if it's an environmental argument, you're eating this one. If it's a nutritional argument, you're eating this one. I don't know what else there is, guys. An ethical argument? Well, look, in order for something to live, something else must die. And you better believe that if you are farming plants, you are killing insects, animals, rodents, snakes. So no plant-based food comes without the loss of some life. This is a fallacy within the plant-based movement. So from an ethical perspective, from an environmental perspective, and clearly from a nutritional perspective, this is better. It looks better. I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste better, but we're gonna put it to the test. So I don't know. That's how I feel about these two steaks. This one looks way more appetizing than this. This basically looks like dog food. I'm not even sure my dog would eat this. So let's put them on the grill and see what happens. Oh, shit. Oh boy. <clears throat> I don't even know about this, guys. <laughs> uh, there's a mushroom steak right there. It looks kind of just like a mushroom. Like it's not even really cooking, but my steak over here is looking pretty good. Put it on there for a couple more minutes and try and cook the mushroom steak and we'll see. I don't know guys, I can't even tell when this thing is ready. It's just a mushroom. How much do you cook a mushroom? I don't even know if it's ready to keep. I mean, it's been on there longer than the steak. The steak is long gone. It's been on there long enough to be cooked. 
bison steak. I mean, I overcooked it a little bit, but super good. Juicy, flavorful, a little fatty, delicious. Not super excited about this, but I told you guys I would do it, so here we go. Mushroom steak. I can't even tell if it's done. Like, what even is this? <clears throat> I don't really want to eat this, but... Ugh. I'm still chewing. Ugh. <laughs> I think the only flavor from that is just from the spices they add to it. In terms of protein, in this whole package, there's about nine ounces, 34 grams of plant-based protein. This is a 10 ounce ribeye, 64 grams of bioavailable animal protein in this. So protein also crushes this poor excuse for a steak. I'm gonna eat some more of the steak. I mean, I think guys, it's, there's no question here. This, I don't know, it's just an excuse to create a highly processed, ultra processed garbage food without many nutrients in it, grass fed, grass finished, regeneratively raised, cow, bison, more nutritious, better for the environment, ethically sound choice, better for you, better for the planet. And if you can't get good source meat like that, this is why I built Lineage. This is super exciting guys. Grass fed, grass finished, beef sticks, available now, lineageprovisions.com with grass fed heart and liver. Again, I always think eat a steak, eat liver, eat heart. But if you're on the go or you want a snack, check us out at Lineage Provisions as well. Super excited about what we've built here. Super excited about finishing that bison ribeye. Not super excited about that. Might use it to go fishing later or something. I don't know, even though I wouldn't eat the fish. If you guys find this content valuable, please like, subscribe, share it with people who you think have questions about plant-based meat versus real meat. Let your friends know about Lineage, grass-fed beef sticks with heart and liver, the only beef sticks on the planet with organs in them. Follow them at Lineage Provisions on YouTube. We'll put it in the descriptions, at Lineage Provisions on Instagram. Buy them at lineageprovisions.com. Let me know what you think of the Lineage Provisions beef sticks. See you guys in the next video.